listen to this crazy story. Honestly, probably the craziest experience in my life. No I've joke. I've never seen that. No show. joke. I was like shook, shook. What's good, guys? Back, Back with another, another video. video. In today's video, we're doing a seafood boil for a one year anniversary of our very first mukbang. We have two features in this video. Is that the same shirt? Hi, my name is Nick. Hi, my name is Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura. Laura, it's not a job interview. It's a YouTube video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, it's not an icebreaker. <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura. Hi, my name is Laura. Let's get this YouTube video started. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any uploads. First up, we out to Costco. We're at Costco now, and we need to pick up some Alaskan King Crab. Costco. Yo, Costco really be hitting different. All right, here we go. Which one is this? Sure, I don't know, but it's king crab. How much is it? Four nineteen. Damn. We have to, though, right? We're about to eat swell. We have to. Which one are we gonna get? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, what if we got some just claws? What the? That's fine. Plus, you're gonna love it. This is it's mad good. How heavy is it? Not that heavy. And how for how heavy is it you think? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? Yeah. Overhead press. Now. It's not a lot of food. Like if you really think about it, and you take you, you take out the meat, it's not a lot of food. It's shell. So, so should we get two of them? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yo, Laura, Laura, can you record me real quick? Hold this. It's it's already recording. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's all we need? Yep, we're gonna get the rest from Walmart. You guys are some fiends. <laughs> That's good? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're coming home with me. What is that? Let me see. Pork fin. With tahini. Mm. Alright, here we go. Where's the thingy thing? Leave it, we'll just leave it in there. Oh. Thanks. Leave it in there, she's gonna get it right now. Hi, my name is Teresa and I like King Crab. One, two, three, lift! <laughs> Alright. I got a gift. A gift? Yeah, a parent gave me a gift. Look. Oh, Nick. Thank you for happy teacher appreciation day. Love Max. Look at Now we out to Walmart to pick up the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, get that one. Regular or longer? Like Regular. this one or the, the top one, the top one, the gr one? top green one, yeah. Yeah. All right, tell them why we're renting your car, T. Stay tuned for tomorrow. All right, T, let's get in, get out, get our ingredients, and let's start cooking. Let's go. Onions, lemons, and some potatoes. We need corn, sausages, eggs. Yeah, we should get eggs. Would you eat garlic bread with it? Yeah. Ah! How many are you gonna get? She's a fiend. She's like, ah. So, and then <laughs> dipping it into like, yes. Yeah. Oh, the Yeah. Police are. And corn. Veggie broth. Crab oil. Chili powder. Lemon pepper. And of course, some Old Bay. And some eggs. Total is 49.57. We got everything we need. Let's get back to the apartment and start cooking. King crab for a queen. Yes. Let's go. Come on. That's right. Not bad. Nice butt. Back at the apartment. Let's get started. We got a couple things we need to unravel for the mukbang. Oh. Princess Yo. Damn. Yo, this table is dummy long. <laughs> Yo, this table <laughs> is... Yo, bear paw. Next, we got a big pot for the seafood boil. Man, that thing is huge. This is the setup right here. All right, let's get started. All right, All right let's, let's get, get started. started. First, let's get this water boiled. Yo, oh. how heavy was that? Pretty heavy. Damn, yo, Sorry. this is so much. Holy crap, look how much there is. There's no way all four of us are killing Yes, we are. Them. Right, Laura? I think we can do it, yeah. There's no way. So what we have to do is we have to bend it at the joint and put it in the pan so it'll fit in the pot. Laura, what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited to eat. 
All right. Thank you. So we're gonna steam the crab legs, not boil them. That's why there's a low level of water. We don't want to lose the flavor. We want to keep as much of crab flavor as possible. Crabs going, going in. in. What happened? No, you're not no it's Gordon and I, and I said, oh, I should call her. <laughs> crab legs are in. Cover it up. Seven minutes. Here we are. That's good. Our Ooh. tea. Oh. Ah. It was hot. Damn. Now let's make our boil. Boil seasoning going in. In the bag, just like that? Just like that. You sure it's not gonna melt? Nope. Lemons, squeeze it in, then throw them in. Nice. <laughs> Sound like a boop. <laughs> <laughs> You're so immature. And we're gonna throw an orange for more citrus. Ooh. Nice. Good. Old Bay. You don't have to put a lot of that. Go. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Paprika. 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 Some onions. Lemon pepper. Garlic powder. Laura, you're eating Pringles? I need something. And last but not least, tea. Slap your mom. <laughs> we could be generous with this one. Yeah. Whenever you think you have enough seasoning, just put a little bit more. That's right. Good man. Let me slap you for the intro. Now we're gonna cover it and let it come to a simmer. Now we're gonna add the potatoes. Now we're gonna put the bell in the oven. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the and then we're gonna put the meat on the grill. Who's that? I don't remember. Show! Oh, show! 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 And then we put the custard on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! You <laughs> chopstick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes going in. Ooh. Damn, I got that. Yo, man. he's an OT. He should be. This should be easy for him. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, they look mad Hollywood. Why y'all sit like that? Like what? Next, we add the corn. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Next. You add the ayos. Ayo. Then you add the bonbons. <laughs> eggs. Four eggs going in. Now we wait. While we're waiting for that to finish, let's make the dipping sauce. Butter going in. Garlic herb butter going in. Now let's add our onions and our garlic. Then let's add some veggie broth. Don't ask me how much, I don't know. Just eyeball it. Now let's season it. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. Same seasonings we put in the water. Now let's add our shrimp. It's done, now we just gotta strain it. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be hot for you. Okay. All right guys, all the food is set up. It's time to eat, we're starving. Ooh. Yo, great job guys. It's time to go to town. Let's go, yo. Yeah, no rules, let's, let's just eat. Ooh, I, got, I got mine. What are we all drinking? Three, two, one. Two, one. Here we go. Right. Yo. One year anniversary? Cheers. 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 One year anniversary. No lie. Mm. I have the best drink out of all you guys. Nah, you're probably mm. right. <laughs> Not for real. You're probably right. What is nah, that? Nah, mine's a jail slap right now, though. Yo, sparkling orange arancciata. Yo, let's get after it. For real. Right, let's go. Let's go. Pass it. Yo. Yo, pass it. Pass it. Just take oh, whatever. Yeah. Just put Yo, everybody plate. grab a piece yeah. of Texas toast. I, 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 I. Yo, I, I want the burnt one. I want toast. Cheers. No. Yo, did you guys take your first bite yet? No. no. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay, ready? That's all meat right here. Hey. One, two, three, cheers. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my god. Mm. Nobody don't wiggle, wiggle. Mm -hmm. Yo, mm -hmm. this is literally the best crab meat I ever had oh. in my life. Honestly, I could have it plant too. Mm. How much did all this cost total for everything? $550? No, nah, more than that. I think mm -hmm. like $700 flat. Mm -mm. Everything added up, probably about mm, $700. 700. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to be talking, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, we did this video, a seafood boy mukbang, with Nick and Laura about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So every year, expect a seafood mukbang. 
Yes. <laughs> mm. oh. Yo, the onions too? Fire. Fire? Mm -hmm. oh. Yo, we've been waiting for a long time. We've talked about this for a while. It may no. not happen though. You've been talking about it for a long time. So, the reason why we're in Orlando right now, in his apartment, is because we just came back from their wedding and we just wanted to hang out after. So they got married for the second time, the second time because they had a COVID wedding. It was a celebration. It was our wedding party. It was a wedding no. party because they had previously got married for during, during the COVID. COVID. So yeah, yo, how was your wedding? So fun. It was. It was yeah, it was a good time. Mm. Let me ask Lots you. Of dancing. Let me ask you. <laughs> Lots of twerking. Lots of twerking. <laughs> how was the wedding for you, Zach? <laughs> I don't even remember it. <laughs> Yo, I was Zach lit. giving everybody the shoulders. I was lit. No joke. Zach had the crazy dance. And if we asked him to replicate it, I don't even think he could. I don't know. You see with his knees? You see oh. the with his knees? You know the the dance? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was going crazy. Yo, Laura, let me ask this. Yeah. Did anything not go as planned? Oh. Mm, that's a good question. Well, that's, I, I can answer that. Yes. You something answer, you something did go as. Yeah, okay, okay. Can you can you answer and let, and let I'll let you know if that's what I'm thinking about. The alcohol situation? Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Oh dude. Mm. She was getting me. I don't even drink like that and that bartender was getting me tight. Mm. There was supposed to be tequila at mm. the bar and there wasn't. And the guy working the bar was trying to charge us an extra like what? Six dollars per eight head? Do eight, eight dollars per head? head. Mm. Nah. Yo, look at Laura, please. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. So, are you where you guys envisioned yourselves one year ago? Today. You go first. You go first. No, you, you, you go first. You go. Can I reference the other video? Or yeah, no? sure. But well, you remember the other video? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. One year ago, I said that. One year later, I will still be working at EY. Zach will be working. We'll, we'll be doing social media full time. I think. You also said that I'll be working part time. Oh yeah, possibly a <laughs> part time job. Damn, y'all use it. Your butter is gone. What? Yo. And we'll be in Dallas, mm -hmm. which we do. We live in Dallas. Probably have a dog, and the monkey boy. Mm -hmm. Um. And yeah, and I think that's honestly, I feel like I predict the future. No more EY. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "She's having a conversation to herself." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was all over the place, but I think I was pretty accurate one year for now. The only thing was that I'm not working at EY anymore. Mm, okay. That's it. Zach, your turn. I think I had overestimated our TikTok goals. We did not reach those high of numbers. But in terms of where we are right now, in terms of working and where we're living and having a dog, I think, yeah, we kind of did everything you said we were trying to do. Yeah. Which yeah. I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> <laughs> Math is hard for him. <laughs> um, no, nah, you're tripping. This I get boxing right TikTok, now. that's the only thing. We uh, we said like I said two to four million. You said three to five. Mm -hmm. We had 1.6, 1.7. So collectively. Mm. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> I too have TikTok. Oh, do you? <laughs> you I too have TikTok. And if you guys are interested, it's N I C K underscore the underscore chin, C H I N. And Zach is gonna put it right here. Here's what we need to do mm. we need to do new one year goals. So, starting with you guys, where do you guys see yourselves one year from now? Or in terms of goals, anything one year from now? What do you guys see? Mm. A year from now? Yep. Probably still in Orlando, okay. maybe in the house. Mm -hmm. In a house. In a house. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, definitely want to do some more traveling though. For sure. Um, trying to go to Scotland. So really? Yeah. Queen I, Mary. I really, <laughs> exactly. I really want to go to Scotland. What? Well, why Scotland? Because I just love it. What's your influence to Scotland? Um, I just love. Outlander and you know everything like um, just like all the stories you know it, I think Scotland is so romantic you know, and, yeah so I want to go there 
What other goals you think? Coming with my mouth full. No. <laughs> but I think so. I just graduated school. I'm working now as an occupational therapist, and I want to get another year of experience under my belt. I too see myself living in a house because Ooh. paying rent is ghetto. Mm -hmm. Really, you pay all this money, it doesn't go towards anything. Um, I'm down to travel, do Europe, go to like some Caribbean spots. But um, other than that, I really don't know. Maybe some more new business ventures. I don't know. All right, what about you guys? To you first. You go first. I always want to eat this right. plate. One year from now, I think we'll definitely still be living in Dallas. I really like Texas a lot. Um, I don't think we're gonna be moving for a while. Um, definitely traveling a lot too. We wanna travel to LA, back to New York, maybe Asia in the next year, depending on travel restrictions and everything. No joke, mm -hmm. we gotta slide with you. Nah, yeah. for real, no, hold I'm up. Back. I'll be litty. I got a few more questions. In terms of where we're living, we're probably gonna be moving to a house also this will be the only time we're mentioning this so if you guys saw this video you guys got that information um let's see what else in terms of business ventures and social media goals because this is also like a diary for herself to reference a year from now it's hard to say social media is so volatile anything can happen in a year in terms of numbers wise i'm gonna say on tiktok i would like to say Three million? I don't know. It's hard. It's so hard to say for TikTok. I really don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say three to five million to be safe. Three to five million to be safe. For Instagram, I'm gonna say five hundred thousand. Yo, five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand, right? Go big or go home. Uh -huh. Verified or not? Verified. Yeah, oh, cause I, yo, I got some inside knowledge <laughs> on that whole process. Again, if you guys want to know this stuff, then you guys got to stay in tune because we're going to be dropping some hidden vegetables on how hidden. to be a better content creator and stuff like that. Um, it's golden YouTube wise. Golden nuggets, not hidden vegetables. <laughs> nah, there's a specific term that I learned from Khan and Samir, if you guys know what that is. Mm. But Hide your vegetables. In terms of YouTube, I would like to say 200,000, two to 400,000. But again, who knows, right? This video can get 5 million views and now we have 200,000 followers. You know, you never know. So yeah, those are my answers. T, nice. one year from now, what about you? One year from now, I think we will be moving to the house. Mm -hmm. I think we are still gonna be in Dallas. Um, I think we're gonna be traveling a good amount. LA, Hawaii and all that. Mm -hmm. um, monkey boy. Do you think there's going to be second monkey boy? Maybe it's two dogs? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, like we're doing social media full time. I think we're still going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. Business ventures wise. I don't think we're going to be opening up any thing. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Seriously. And as for social media goals, I think on TikTok, we're probably going to have on average for both our pages around three million and then each average like collectively yeah. collectively what because you have million. three million two, so like so yeah it's like zach could have four and i could have two. Oh. um and then for instagram 200k 300k sorry 300k and then for youtube 250k mm. that's what i think that'll be solid mm -hmm. that'll be solid oh dear you think that's a little ambitious or? I think that's right on track. Yeah, I think so too. I think Zach's, Zach's numbers were a bit ambitious, but I think mine were pretty on track. Mm -hmm. I would I would agree with that. If you didn't realize, I'm wearing the same shirt as last year. Mm. I'm, I'm wearing a white shirt also, but not the same shirt. Mm. If you didn't realize, I'm wearing the same shirt as last year also. I am not. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on. But the hotel was at the Canopy Hilton on Midtown. 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 Oh, and we saw a shooting. Yes. Yo. Zach and T. Yo, that Yo. was crazy. 
Let me tell you from my perspective. So you weren't even there. No, you didn't even see it. My you were perspective lit. of what? Harriet? Getting, getting the text. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're me and Laura in the club. We're in a Havana club. Havana Havana club. And I get a text. Zach and T went back to the hotel to get something. And they're like, oh, we're gonna Uber there and then Uber back right away. He texts me, he's like, I'm okay, but I just wanna let you know I'm not popping back out tonight because T and I just witnessed a shooting outside the hotel. Literally right outside. And I did a double take, I'm like, I had to show Laura, it's like, am I reading this correctly? So, they, they missed the party, what do? Yeah, it was crazy. No, you missed some of the party. The party was the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. We just missed that one day. Yeah. But, do you want to share or should I share? You, you can share and I'll answer because you honestly you saw more than I did. But, okay. But we did see different stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, story time. Mm. Listen to this crazy story. Honestly, probably the craziest experience in my life. No I've joke. I've never seen you that. No joke. joke. I was like shook, shook. I don't think he's ever seen me stressed to that point. Like yeah. my heart rate was, mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't like, I've never, like I've heard people say, like, oh, I feel overwhelmed, like, oh, oh like, I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. I was like, I could not, I had to literally sit down, like. Do you think it was like a panic attack? Or the closest thing yeah. you Yeah, the closest thing to a panic attack, yeah. So here's what happened. We all went out to this place called Pond City Market, and we were at a rooftop bar, right? And me and T had forgotten something at our hotel, and they were going out to the club. So we said, hey, we're gonna Uber back to the hotel, and then we're gonna meet you guys at the club. And they are like, all right, cool. So, so we ordered an Uber, and we're going back to the hotel. And mind you, on the way back to the hotel, we saw like five, six car crashes on the highway. I swear in my life, five, six car crashes, right? So we're coming back to the hotel, we're like, all right, damn, like, let's just be safe, you know, be careful about our surroundings, we'll wear our seatbelt in the Uber, make sure, just double check, you know, the whole shebang. We get to the hotel, and the driver pulls up on the left side, right in front of the hotel. Um, we both get out on the left side, on the sidewalk side, and we're like, all right, thank you, Uber, whatever. And T gets out, I get out, I close the door behind me, but I didn't close it fully because I just didn't close yeah. it fully. Like, I just did it lightly. So I was like, oh shoot, I didn't close the door. T said, yo, you didn't close the door. So I, I turn back to the Uber, I walk up, close the door, I look up for one second, I see this black sedan swerve up super fast and tires squeak, squealing, squeaking, everything, like And then I, I see this guy in a, it was, it was dark. This was like what, like 11 p.m.? 10? Yeah, yeah 11. Yeah, it was like 10 p.m. at night, so I can't really see. I see this black figure coming out of a car, literally get out of the car window like GTA, come out with a pistol and go pop, pop at another car. And then after that, like I don't even remember what happened. I just heard that. I you saw it. My I arm. grabbed T by her hoodie, your, yeah. by her arm hoodie, and I yanked her. I said, "Yo, we out." Yeah, and we were running. And we were we sprinted, and, and there's just people. There's probably like ten people on the block, maybe, including us, just sprinting. And then I pulled T, and T was like a deer in headlights. She didn't know what happened. Yeah. So, so now what I saw was so we got off on this side, on this side of the sidewalk, the left side, right? It's a one-way street. And on the left side, when I looked up, all I saw was a pole dropping. So I thought it was a car crash. And I was like, if I saw five, six car crashes that night, it's not like any big news that I saw another car crash. But I did hear the bop bop, like I heard, I heard the two shots, but I, I couldn't really process what that was. I thought it was like a big car crash. I saw the pole drop, and right when I saw it about to drop, I already like, Zach yanked me, and I, I didn't know what was happening, mm -hmm. and we were just running. And, and then we ran into the valet parking service yeah, tell how of our hotel. And from there, there were three valet drivers running towards us. While we were going this way, they're running towards us like, those were gunshots? And we're like, or Zach said, yeah, hell yeah, like those were gunshots. And we were running in, and then they were running, but then they turned, they're like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted then, to see what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, why would they run towards the gunshots? Oh, no lie, I think my first instinct, once I heard that, was to go like this and like look even more, not yeah. to dip. Not, like oh, my, really? Yeah. If Zach didn't pull me, I would have like just as like 
another few more seconds, I would have looked around and then be like, oh, damn, I got a dip. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I was pulling you mad hard. Yeah, I know. And you weren't moving. <laughs> you Yo, even bro, she wasn't moving. And she even yelled at me. Yo, yeah. she yelled at me. She's like, why are you pulling me for? No, I was like, stop pulling me so hard. Because you were pulling me mad hard. Yeah. I got my question. I was running, but I was just like, I was just like, I don't know. I was moving with you, but. But yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. That's very scary. After that, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> the party was amazing. The wedding mm -hmm. was amazing. Highlight. Mm -hmm. But other than that, not a big fan. And I thought the food in Atlanta was mid. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything that was spectacular. Yeah. Here's my question for you guys. Right. And answer very seriously. Mm -hmm. So throughout this weekend, we've been going to Disney and we went to Universal. And while we were waiting in lines, all together, my whole family, there's eight of us together. My family, the the other the the other six besides Zach and T. We start to notice that when Zach and T walk around, people start looking like they, like, they'll do a double take. Like, they'll look at them, and then they'll be like, and then they'll whisper like, oh, those are the guys from TikTok, like I said. And it, it, it really varies um, all types of people. Like, mm -hmm. for example, it'll be as young as like an eight-year-old little girl to like, a 58 year old Asian woman <laughs> who who just loves them. They love watching them eat. So like, my, my question is, has it affected you having a little bit of fame? That's the first question. The second question is, do you, uh, does it bother you when people come up to you and approach you? And how would you want them to interact? Like, does it bother you if, if they ask for a picture? Mm. Would you feel some type of way if you're if they want an autograph? Like, you tell me. Yo, that was a that very was a question. good mm. question. Like, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm that actually good. proud that you were able to, you know, be serious. With this, you know, appreciate. That. It's not you're trying to kiss me or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On a serious note, um, first of all, we love when people come say what's up to us. I would say the only thing we don't like about it is if you don't say what's up to us. It's just really awkward if we're <laughs> constantly in the same room. <laughs> like, what, like what, remember when we were online and yeah. like, they were like, like, they're like this, like, yeah. Like, and you know they're talking about you, yeah. but like they don't do anything. But, but it would be really awkward if we go up to them and say like, hey, like. Hi, like, like it'd be awkward to be yeah. the ones that come to Be like, hey, like, yo, you want to take a picture? Like, like we're not, that's not us, yeah, you know? Yeah. But yeah, we absolutely love when people come and say what's up to us because we're still like, in awe and shock when people see our videos. So I think it's totally awesome. I think the best way to say what's up is, yo, yo, what's up? Like, what's up? That's it. Do I see your video? What's yeah. up? Yeah. I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, when we're in the same room or like if we're like in a restaurant or for some reason and like they keep like pointing and talking and like, yo, I think that's dumb. But like they don't say anything to us, then it gets kind of awkward because then we feel awkward sitting there, knowing yeah. someone's watching us, but then we don't know if it's actually them sitting like, mm -hmm. for that, like, for that reason. Yeah, for that reason. So we just have to make assumptions in our head. Yeah. And then that's kind of awkward, but yeah, definitely come say what's up, right? I think you feel the same way too. Yeah. Because we've, we've sure. talked about this many times. Yeah. Let me ask you this too. When was your first quote unquote follower interaction and how did it go? Oh, shoot. Wow. I don't know more about the first one, but I'll tell you about a couple that stood out. Okay. First one was in the Bucky's gas station. I like oh, remember. I that was like, like that was, what it time was in was the middle that? of the night. That was like three. Yeah. Yeah. That was there. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first one. No, no, no that's no, just no, one that I. That's out. that's one that I really yeah. remember because that was so random. It was one time it was Bucky's at like three a.m. in the morning. We the had one, just, the one near San Antonio. Yes. Yeah, in San, San Antonio, Antonio, in between San Antonio and Austin. And one. we weren't yeah. even living in. Texas yet so we were from New York still mm -hmm. and we went to Texas and at 3 a.m. in the morning some girl came out to us like yo like can I take a picture of you guys I was like yeah. oh, I, remember <laughs> I was like wait with us <laughs> I was like yeah let's do it yeah. um so that's one of them okay second one was I signed someone's arm at the park no oh, yeah. Yeah. and that was awesome I was like <laughs> I was like, bro, are you sure, bro? I was like, do you really want me to sign your arm? I remember that. I was like, okay. Yeah, Sharpie too. Yeah, I was like, okay. Grown man? No, he was no. probably like 16, 17. Teenager. Yeah, he was, like, he was probably like high school. 
And then another one, and this was so cute, I'm not gonna lie. Remember that his name was like Oliver. I forgot his name. Oh, I wish I remember his name. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. We were in Chinatown and this ki this guy, this kid, he was a boy. He was probably maybe like 10 years old maybe, nine, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was holding hands with his grandpa and we were walking by him and I, me, it was me, T, and my friend. And we were walking past him. He turned around and was like, oh, oh my God. I watch your videos. Can I take a selfie? <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro, for sure. So we take a selfie, and then he just walked away. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, that's cute. That's yeah, he was so cute. I was like, yo, that's dope. Oh, I have one. Remember, we were waiting for Prince Street Pizza, and we were oh, waiting yeah, that was, for like 30, 40 minutes. That was low key awkward too. And though. there's lady and her, I don't know, boyfriend or, or friend or whatever, right? We're in front of us. We're waiting in line for 30, 40 minutes. And it wasn't until when we were ordering and paying, she's like, can you sign my pizza box? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, huh? She was probably and, thinking that whole line. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. And I was just like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to sign, but I signed her. She said, who does that, Teresa? Yeah. I don't I, remember, I think yeah. I think it's Teresa, I don't know. And then, and then you're like, I want to sign too. And then you sign Jack. <laughs> Yeah, that was, oh, it. That, I that was awkward. That. that was awesome though. I know, I know. But I think when we're together, like, it's a lot easier. It's because we're easy to spot. We're dressed, <laughs> we're dressed to match, or we're always together. We dress the same we way we dress in food. Yeah, we dress the same way we dress in videos. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to like spot us, especially when we're together. Yeah. Because if it's just one of us, they're like, ah, oh, maybe it's him, maybe yeah. not. Have you ever got spotted individually? Yeah. Put all this in here. And just put all the shells in there. All right, guys. I'm pretty full. Can you guys say the same? Oh, Yo, yes. I'm bloated. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to the end of the video. This was amazing. We have tons of food. We still have food that didn't even get put on the platter. What are you guys gonna do with that? Leftovers? Honestly, have friends over and say that we got some luxurious <laughs> crap for them, and they're gonna we're gonna bless them. Yo, I think you should make, you should make like a fried a, a, like a king crab. Fried rice. No fried joke, rice? With, with the extra crab, we can make fried rice. No, Yo, it's fire. Fried rice tomorrow? Yeah, all day. For, for dinner? Oh, for real. That's right, before, right before our plane, our flight. Mm. All right, I said we do that. Hold on, but if you made it to this point of the video. Yes. I'm gonna let Nick do the special work. Yes, today. I do the honor, Nick. If you made it to this point of the video, make sure to comment down below, Krabby Patties. All right. <laughs> or Krabby Patty. Krabby Whatever. Patty, Krabby Patties, or Mr. Krabs, something Krabby. Comment something, some, something, something Krabby, something yeah. Krabby. No. Yo, comment the best crab pun you have, oh, or anything no. Krabby. No, no yeah. joke. Some people have nice I know. Puns. I'm not good at it, but some people, people got some. Yo, there's gonna be one person I know that's gonna comment like five good ass puns. Uh, and you're gonna pin their comment? Yeah. You I'll pin the best one? Yo, I'll pin the best crab. Fun. Okay, all right. Bye. But yep, like I was saying, guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Oh, crabs. Oh, eggs. <laughs> <laughs>